click login so firstly we have to add the device into the software so you can see a device over here okay so if you want to add the device we got two methods first is a manually add and then another is a search device so for manually add just click this add and then the key in the device name f32 then device type you choose this one standalone device then this one auto synchronize device with time with the pc time click and then clear data in the device when adding this one if you add a user in your device already then we un just untake it <coughs> if you take it after we add the device all the user inside the device will be gone and then we just key in the IP address 192.168.1.2.0.1 and then click OK so another way we add the device is search by the device so we just click search in this method we will search all the device is connected to the local area network it's between the fan network we will show this all the device inside over here so we just wait a moment while searching the device alright you can see over here the device IP address and the MAC address and then we click this one add device and then device name we just put uh, F22 and then device type we just stand alone device or synchronize device time in PC time click and then we click OK Okay, has been added yes done already so you can see over here the device is added into the software you can see the IP address serial number and the personal also how many person two finger pin how many two okay after that we have to download the user from the device to your to the software so we just click this one get personal data from device please select an object so we have to take this device before we get so we need to take these two options personal information and fingerprint templates then we click get Okay, done already so we go to the personal okay so you can see over here the user has been added to the software so you can modify the inform user information over here by click this user and then you take this one edit okay, you can modify the username the card number if you have using the card and the last name mobile phone and then gender male or female and then if you using the password you can enter over here and the email address as well and this privilege you got personal or admin personal is just a normal user and then admin is a administrator user so if the difference between the, you, these two types of user the personal is just a normal user time in time out if admin you need when you every time log into the device menu you need the admin user to come in to log into the menu ok 
then we just modify it Peter. okay so this one also okay so after that we have to go to access control and then we do the access level over here so we click this one add and then access level name we just put the name and before our access and then access control time zone so this one we have to choose this one 24 hour accessible and then you can see over here on authorized door and authorized door so you need to move from authorized door to authorized door you just click this one and then you click the error then if you move from the left hand side to right hand side and then this one also unauthorized personal and authorized personal this two is the user just now we add already so we just move it to the right hand side authorized so we click ok ok data updated these things so remember to click this one sync now to upload the setting Synthesis finished. It's done already. So we go to the real time monitoring. So this real time monitoring, you can see all the transactions from the user at lifetime. Thank you. Thank you. So you can see over here. This one is the date and time. And then the personal ID, who's the person, in out status, check in. Okay. So next, we have to do the attendance setting. So we're over here, we click. So you can see over here the flow, how to setting, time level, shift, schedule, these three types we will set first and then you just click the calculate to generate the report. Okay, first we setting the time level first. Just delete it first. Okay, this, this one is uh, by default is got already one so you just modify this one then you just put a normal shift normal then check in time you need to setting check in time is the what time did the employee start working and then check out time what time employee is uh, finished working So we just put 9 o'clock until 6 o'clock okay. and then we need to setting the break time over here we just click management and we just delete it this two and we click add so and then break name you have to put the break name anything lunch lunch then start time 12 o'clock in time until 1 o'clock so it will show the break time 16 minutes the break time so this is auto detect means the when generate the report it will auto detect the break time So there all setting done, we click the save. Okay, it's come out the lunch time. If the company have multiple lunch time, we just add another lunch time over here. 
times 2 maybe 1 pm until 4 pm uh, 2 pm so quick set and go back so here got two lunch time already lunch and two so that we click set okay if the employee have uh, working at a Saturday we have to add another timetable over here the timetable name we put weekends and then check in time 9 until maybe 1 pm okay so the color you can change over here then you click save all right so you can see two timetable over here normal is uh, just a weekday and then weekend is other time period okay after that we go to the, this one shift So shift name you have to put the name and then you need to assign the timetable to the this one shift then you can see over here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday so normal working time 9 until 6 pm and then Saturday you have to click this one weekends and then drag to this one Saturday. Okay, so it come out like this. So start date you have to choose from when the shift is applied to. So cycle length is by week, and then cycle radio we just put one. After all setting is done, we click set. Okay, so then we need to assign the shift to employee so we need to click this assign and then start that and that so it's just today from when to when so until this one we maybe put a tense year after okay this one is 15 of April until 15 of April 2020 and then 2030. Okay, and then we choose which employee is belong this shift. Then we click save. Again, click save one more time. Okay, this one is done already. So we just double confirm. This assign. Okay, after that, we go to the schedule over here. So we can see over here this Peter. Yeah, so it's all, it will automatically generate this timetable schedule. Just now we setting already one. So until 2030. So if a person is off day or the day or take leave, <coughs> so you can assign the day by over here. So the timetable you select which day, which day is off, and then you click this one timetable, then select this off, and then click assign. So this one will become off day. If you want to undo back, just click this one clear. okay so finally we have to generate the report so before before we generate we have to collect the data first at the device so 
from this one be off then we go back to this one device then we click the get locks and then we take this one click get all locks before that we make sure the device is taken already over here and then click get okay it's done already after that we go back to attendance okay we click this one calculate so under calculate we have to select the employee and then calculate the date from when to when we are first until 30 and then we click this one calculate so we come out the all the data and then we go to the report so we have to select the date from when to when we want to calculate we want to generate the reports so we just select one month so this employee you can select either all employee or custom employees so you can select over here which employee you want and then click confirm okay and then we click this one monthly summary reports so it will show the one month data over here so you can see over here this is a one month that one month attendance record first until 30 it's a two person in this report it will show you the name and then the time label date in out in out first in first out last in last out and then the break time and then if the person got late or early booking how many hours absent ot and accession holiday in this report you can export come out to the pdf format or excel format you just click this one export document then you select excel file and okay then you save at the desktop and click save do you want to open this file? Yes. Alright, so this one is a report just now we generated in the Excel format. Okay, so the another important thing I want to show you how to backup the database. So we just close this one first and then we go back to the software and then we go to the system over here and then we go to the database you can see over here the database and then we drop down and then we select this one backup database so you can choose the path when you want to save you just set the stop and then file name you just put the backup then click save operation successful is done already so if you want to restore back the database you can click this one restore database desktop select the file just now we have backup out so we click open Operation successful restart the software.